Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video, we've got a lot of work to do. We are making an overhang off of our shed for our off-grid, I guess, YouTube production facility. So let's get cracking. <laughs> So here's the scoop. My family is a big family. We have seven kids and we homeschool our kids. Uh, and, and the reality is that, um, well, frankly, I got bounced. I, I uh, have my little you know, desk and stuff and production area where I make these videos for you guys. But school's getting ready to start again. We've got more kids that we're dealing with. And frankly, I'm not the priority and that's okay. So I am gonna take up residence in this shed over here. There's a lot of problems that go along with this shed over here. It's filled with junk <laughs> to start with. So that junk's either gotta get sold or thrown away or whatever. And so what we figured we would do, the least expensive route would be to build a nice overhang that will come off the side of that shed for outdoor stuff like, you know, lawn mowers and whatever. I've got some solar on there, so we're gonna make this my production where I do my computer stuff and my cameras and whatnot. We're gonna make it completely um, solar if, if that's possible. We gotta figure out our requirements. If not, we'll run electric from the house. But, uh, so basically what we've got going on is I'm bounced, baby. I gotta, I gotta take up residence in the shed like some kind of troll or, I don't know, whatever, halfling thing or something. I'm a gremlin that lives out in the barn, um, <laughs> which is fine. It's, I'm, I'm making a big deal about nothing. So, but anyway, we're gonna take you along the journey today. We've gotten some materials and we're gonna build it. And then uh, hopefully we do something that you like. So there we go. Even if you don't, well, we'll like it. So anyway, here we go. So here we are. I have to give credit where credit is due. These boys don't even know the pain that is ahead of them. Yeah, basically we're working. I wanted to make sure that David and Jonathan got credit because we're the crew. We're the crew, ready? You guys ready? Yep. Oh, true. All right, so what we've got here is this is soon to be production off-grid land. You can see up there, there's a solar panel. Oh yeah, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. But early morning, and you see this weird half tree? Well, there's, there's a reason for that, and the kids were gonna make a tree house. It was not well thought out, and I said okay, and they cut it halfway, and it's ridiculous, and so it's gonna be gone. So basically, off this side is going to be our overhang, which will house stuff like all my beehives keep them out of the weather but there's a ton of stuff in here that has got to be sheltered in here so the plan first things first cut this tree down get all this stuff out of here build the overhang move stuff and yada yada yippee skippy we are off to the races Okay, pause for just a second. Uh, the reason for the clothing change is because in there was a ton of poison ivy and poison oak, which is weird because it's not an oak, but whatever. Uh, but fun fact, you don't have to have the poison ivy on you. All you have to do, why I changed my shirt, is because I went in and rinsed off real quick. All you gotta do to get rid of the poison ivy is use any old soap and some kind of abrasive within the first six hours of your exposure and it won't be a problem. You just scrub it, scrub it, make sure all that oil gets off, no problem, done. Bam, keep it working. All right, so about an hour and a half, maybe two hours ago, we realized that the uh, battery went dead on the camera, so uh, looking good so far. We're keeping after it. Okay, so it's about 4.15 and we're all finished. I'm gonna show you what we got. Pretty cool, now I can get my junk out of the shed, 
to put underneath there so I can go ahead and have my lair, my production lair, so Mama can have the uh, office for homeschooling. So, uh, well, let's check this out. All right, pretty cool. Now, some of you may be wondering why the different color shingles? Well, they were on sale, so you save a buck, and I don't care that they're two different colors. Now we have a much better place to keep our beehives out of the weather. We're gonna put some shelving in here and probably even some siding on this side and that will keep the weather out and we'll be able to keep our stuff nice. Cool. So phase two, this is gonna get turned into a computer lounge. Video production, sweet orama cool. So there you have it, phase one complete. Now we gotta move on to phase two, which is cleaning out the shed making it into something that I can actually use with computers and stuff out there, temperature controlled, well maybe, we'll see what's gonna happen. You come along for the ride. Anyway, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.